All right, we're gonna do a tune right now that features another member of our band. We're gonna try to give everybody a chance on this set. It's short, but we hope it's sweet enough for you. Go to a tune that features this man to my immediate, uh, my immediate left, Mr. Fingers Taylor. You'll meet all the band before the night's out. Thank you. Right now, I want to introduce you to Fingers. Fingers being an unusual name, many people come up to him at the end of the set and say, yes, we know Fingers is your stage name, friend, but what, what's your real name? What's your given name? And Fingers always never tells him. So we're here to tell you tonight that it is no mystery no longer. Years ago, when the High Steppers uh, did not have Mr. Fingers as a member of their crew, we were driving home from a little bitty gig over in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And we looked up ahead of us, and uh, being the charitable souls that we are, and having always had car trouble on the road, we noticed a car off to the side in horrible shape. Lights were blinking, smoke was coming up from the hood. We pulled over, and thanks to the prowess of our drummer, Mr. Bill Marshall, he used to be a body and fender man, yeah. we were able to pull out a fella that was in really, really bad shape, worse than we could have ever anticipated from the shape of the car. We called the uh, highway patrol and an ambulance immediately. This was in, what, about 1967 or 68, I believe. Yeah, a couple of months later, uh, we were called and told that uh, through Bill's efforts and through our uh, quick thinking that we had saved the man's life. We were humbled when told this, but immediately wanted to know what his condition was. And they told us he had lost uh, uh, half of a lung, or part of a lung, and uh, they believed they could uh, bring him back to a normal life, but it was going to recall an, an, uh, recall Ricky, but he, but I, it was going to require an awful lot of... Uh, I'm so nervous, I've never been on a nationwide hookup before. It was going to... At any rate, the doctors told us it would require a lot, a lot of concentration and a great effort to, to get well. So we went over to find the man in the charity hospital, no visible means of support, no income, no family to speak of. And Bill sort of adopted the fella. He brought him a harmonica and months and months passed and uh, finally we were on stage in Memphis one night and the fella came up and it was lo and behold, none other than Fingers. So people, we gave him a name that night we want you to remember. I'm gonna let the band tell it to you, Fingers. Who is Fingers? The Harpoon Man. Who is Fingers? He's the Harpoon Man.
Fingers Taylor, the hot blue man.